Hey you guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bass. And today I'm out on the water with my buddy Ninja. We are out on the California Delta. I have not been out here in three years. Time flies. But we're out today on a multi-species mission. We're trying to get a big striper and we're trying to catch some largemouth. Come along, should be a fun day. We've got some crazy weather today. It is supposed to be really hot in the afternoon. They've got an unseasonable swing of hot weather coming in, but the morning is really cool. So we've gotten out here early. The plan is to start out throwing top water. Um, we'll throw a big mega bass mega dog and a tactical wake uh, and whatever else we need to throw to try and get some bites. And then later on, we'll slow down and we'll start bass fishing. Ninja and I have fished together for years. He's a good buddy at Tim and I's. I'm out in California just visiting some family and I had just part of a day that I could get out on the water. So I called him up to see if he wanted to go and of course, we're out here fishing. Let's see what happens. Right on the point. Got him. Got it? Yep, throw out there, I'm good. Double up with me. You want to grab the trolling motor? <laughs> Not the world's biggest striper, but he ate the mega dog. It's good to be back out on the Delta. It's been three years since I've been out here doing this. It's a good time. <laughs> Got him. Was that on the way? Yep. Nice. It's a large mouth. Is it? Yeah. You're good, you're good. Woo. Got one on the way. Good job, man. Heck yeah. Got him. Doubled up. Yeah. Yours makes mine look tiny, but doubled up. Come on up here. Morning top water. This one on a mega dog, that one on a tactical wake. Yeah, buddy. Nice, man. That's some fun. Got him. <laughs> You see that? I pulled it out of the grass. Awesome. That was cool. That was awesome, man. He's coming right at me. Another nice one. Too much fun. Yeah, people don't realize how shallow striper will go to feed. It's crazy. They're a mean fish. Got him. Yeah. 
Little guy chomped that tactical wake. So much fun. It's good to be back out here and it's good to land right back on fish. Got him? I got one. Yeah. Big hand. Good job. The old California swim jig comes through. I just got it. <laughs> got my name on it. You can't not. Good job, buddy. Getting bigger. The big one's still. Oh! Yeah. Got him! Come on up here and take the front. Yeah, watch those. Oh, just stay on the front. You're good. Just to stay off them with this. Sun's starting to get up. I'm gonna try and get one, maybe two more of my old haunts before it just starts getting too hot and we have to shift away from striper and focus on bass. Ninja already got a really nice large mouth on the tactical lake. So I think we can catch some bass today. Uh, if I didn't say it before, huge thank you to my dad, by the way, for lending us a boat all the way out in California so that we could get out on the water this morning. Let's keep going. Rack number two, right at the both there. Good job, buddy. Big one. That's a big one. Good job, bud. We'll net that one with our time yet. I thought she was a lot bigger than that. Got this beast on a California swim jig. The Dirty Jig Special Citrus Shad. Nice. Nice fish. See you later. There they are. You see them? I've got two foot here. The bottom has changed since I've been gone. Here she comes. I'm on her. She's on me. Oh no. Got her. Now we're talking. There's another one off to the right if you want it. Going along the tulies. Oh, I'm in shallow water. I gotta back out. Just spooked another one. Two more, three more, four more. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll have to net her. Thank you. Sorry. Right. 
Sweet. Thanks, bro. Yep. Now we're talking. That's a good topwater fish right there. Man, that is so much fun. It is so good to be back out here. Getting to spend a morning with my buddy. It's been a while since we fished together. It's been three years since I've been on the Delta. It's like these fish just haven't moved. They've been waiting for me to come back for a visit. You know, I'm using all travel gear today. We're on my dad's boat. Ninja drove down and met me. And uh, when I fly, I used to use a great big rod tube and I don't do that anymore. I've made a mess of this net. I got hooks everywhere. I used to use a great big rod tube, an eight foot tube, bring my swim bait rods and all my gear. This is our net today. <laughs> Trying to catch a giant striper with a very small net. Actually, let me get on the trolling motor and get safe because we're in like a foot of water. All right, I got distracted there for a minute because out behind the camera, giant striper, I mean like big bigs started blowing up all over the place. We did not get one of them, but we definitely got our shots. Uh, but what I was saying is I used to travel with a huge tube and all my gear, and we've actually done a video talking specifically about my travel gear. Uh, maybe I'll link that in the video description, but I use travel rods, some Mega Bass, the Triza series. I've got some Valkyries with me. That's what my swim bait rod is today. Uh, but these are multi-piece rods. They come apart, but they're incredibly light. They're incredibly sensitive. In the old days, travel rods were, were kind of junk. These are incredible. I mean, these are as good or better than my daily rods. In fact, sometimes I just fish with them at home, even though I'm not traveling. Ninja just got bit right behind the camera. <laughs> so what I do is when I'm flying, I take my reels and I throw them in my carry-on. And for me, I throw my cameras in my carry-on too. Uh, and then my rods, those are my personal item. I put them in a little tube and I carry them right onto the plane and I go and I have never had an issue. And then I never have to worry about my rods getting there. I've always got top of the line gear, quality reels, the line I need, it's all with me. And I don't have to worry about it. And I'm not paying an, a, a freaking fortune to get tubes to and from home every time I travel. Like this trip, I never would have paid to bring a tube on this trip because I just came to see family and I've only got about a three, maybe four hour window this morning that I can even go fishing. Uh, but when I can just put them in a tube as my personal item, throw some reels in my bag and go. And then in this case, you know, I came to see my folks. So my dad lent me his boat, no big deal. It's worth carrying that stuff just to get out for a quick morning session. And I mean, look at this, we're just creaming fish. It's awesome. I think we'll probably shift gears and try and catch a few largemouth before we run out of time. But so far this day has been epic. We caught some big stripers. We saw some giant, giant striper. And I got to run some water I haven't seen in a few years and fish with a good buddy. Total success already. Let's keep going. Got him. Hey, buddy. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that didn't take long. That's a. Decided to try and catch a bass real quick. I brought one bass rod and three strut. Well, I mean, a couple of my rods are crossover, but one rod to throw smaller baits. I started off with a black and red jackal mush bob crankbait. Black and red just can't be beat on the Delta most of the time. If you're gonna show up blind after three years, start with black and red. <laughs> nah, I'm all right. Good job, buddy. 
job, bud. Come on up here. It's not a bad one. Reminded me how to catch large fish. They do that from time to time. Hey. Nice. What are you throwing? Cinco. I might be cheating a little bit. <laughs> Don't tell anyone though, okay? Mm hmm. I said I got bit twice. Yeah. I wonder if that was the current when it picked up my slime. Oh, yeah. okay. That's a good one. He smoked it. We're gonna have to leave here in just a few minutes, so I'm just sticking with the numbers bait, throwing that crankbait, just catching fish and having a good time. Too much fun. Give you one more. Nice. Well done. Oh, you just wacky rigging? Yep. What hook do you wacky rig on? Uh. Is that a gamagatsu? Yeah, I think this is the gamagatsu hook. Usually. Right where he should have been. Right on this little concrete wall. I'm still just throwing that little mush bob. It's the medium runner. Nice fish. You know, on a day like this, whether we're striper fishing or largemouth fishing, Probably the biggest thing to me is that we're covering water. Because it's not like I'm dialed on a pattern, right? I have to go out and start over as if I've never even been on the place. Granted, today, we went right back to some of my favorite places and they were working beautifully. But I'm focused entirely on fast moving baits. For the striper, we were throwing an S waver. We were throwing the swim jig, the wake bait, and the mega dog, the big walking bait. And then for the bass, I'm focused entirely on the crankbait. Ninja's been throwing a wake and a Senko behind me, kind of picking off stragglers behind the crank, uh, but just covering water to build a pattern. And when I'm on walls like this, where it's just bare rock, you're just looking for anything different. So that fish came off that concrete. But what I love on these walls is if it's riprap like this and there's one little bump in the rock that sticks out just a little further than the rest and i'm talking a foot further that's all it takes to hold the fish you're just looking for those subtle differences You got those recently. Oops, there he is. There he is. It's a good one. Nice. Nice fish. Nope. 
so much fun. Yeah, can you just scoop that one? Let's go ahead and net him. He's not that big, but those hooks are sticky sharp. Hey, buddy, come here. Thank you, sir. I think that's the one we're gonna wrap it up on right there. I pushed it a few minutes past when I should probably be out here. I'm just having too much fun with Ninja. Huge thanks to him for coming out and joining me. It was good to get on the water together. So much fun. Nice Delta bass. Just, da just pure basics, back to the basics. Delta, what should I throw? I don't know, black and red crankbait. Striper, what should we do? Oh, throw a glide, throw a top water. You know, just basic, basic fishing. Just out here having a blast. I'm so glad we got to do this. I am gonna get off the water, head back, spend some more time with my family before I jump back on an airplane. But hopefully you guys enjoyed coming along. Down in the video description, I'll link a bunch of my travel gear. I'll try to link that other travel gear video for the guys that want more information on these style of rods and how I pick different rods for different jobs. Uh, and I'll link the different baits we were throwing as well, as long as well as the different colors and all those important little tidbits. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon.